What is going on guys and welcome to another video. In this video today I want to talk to you about how much money you can make with stock footage. We're going to go over some real world examples here, actually take a look at portfolios as a whole um, and actually you know, give you guys an idea of where you might be at right now and where you can be at in the future. So without further ado guys, let's get straight into it. So to start us off, we're just going to talk a bit here about setting expectations when it comes to stock footage. I don't know the kind of backgrounds that you guys have come from, obviously. Everybody who's watching this is probably in a very unique position, whether they're, you know, maybe a drone pilot or a videographer, etc. We've all got our own stories to tell. But when it comes to stock footage, it's not a case of just uploading, say, five to ten clips and then retiring to the Bahamas. Believe me, I wish it was that easy. But unfortunately, if it was that easy, then everybody would be doing it. The trick when it comes to stock footage, guys, is quality, consistency, and variety. Uploading 10 or even just 50 clips alone is not going to do it for you, or even just 100. You really need to actually build up a sizable portfolio to get some really good metrics about the kind of content that you're uploading and you know an idea of how much money you can make every month before you're really gonna start seeing a consistent income and consistent growth financially. So my first real tip when it comes to this, guys, is don't take any metrics on board until you're at at least 1,000 clips in your stock footage portfolio. And I'm actually talking about real good quality clips here, guys. I'm not talking about those duck shots or those scroll shots, you know, those kind of shots where everybody can film them. I'm actually talking about quality work, guys. You need at least 1,000 good quality clips on the agencies before you can really start to draw some metrics out. Now getting into the really juicy stuff here guys, and this is the kind of thing that um, you know I've asked and I get asked quite a lot and I've spoken to a lot of people about and it's different for everybody, but in terms of actual dollar returns on every clip, it varies dramatically. Now I know people who have thousands of clips and they get less than say a dollar a clip and that's because of a number of different reasons to do with you know the quality or the resolution or just the kind of you know demand when it comes to that kind of subject matter you know i mean you can you can go and film me 10,000 shots of silver spoons okay and they could be really great silver spoons but at the end of the day there's only so much demand for shots of silver spoons out there and yeah, you know, I know people who have got really, really high in demand niches that are really well covered and, you know, they shoot really great quality work and they only upload their best stuff. And they're making anywhere from $25 to even $50 a clip. And that is exceptional. I mean, for people to expect to make that, I think is really unrealistic. But for certain people who have got these niches nailed down and covered really well, uh, that is potentially possible for you as well. I don't make that, I'm not anywhere near that, um, but that is something that is achievable at the very high end, but I think those kind of people really know what they're doing when it comes to those niches, and also necessarily the shots themselves take a lot longer to create. So to just give you an example when it comes to that, something like a, a HUD, you know, a visual effects shot, where you might have like a person using a virtual reality watch and there's a hologram there. Obviously that's taking a lot of time in post-production to produce that, um, and that's gonna take a lot of your time up, but a shot like that's gonna make a lot more money compared to, say, a shot of a silver spoon. So, in terms of dollar amounts, the averages across most of the agencies here, in actual dollar return amount to artist, comes in around $5. So that's kind of the floating benchmark, if you like. Between, I'd say, four to six dollars, the average being five. The monthly average there is, of course, 42 cents a clip. We are just going again, guys, on averages. It's going to be different for everybody. But again, that's really where you would like to be aiming for to begin with. So there's a number of different ways that we can achieve that. Uh, we obviously want to be shooting a lot of variety. Don't focus on a niche. Don't just give me silver spoon content because obviously that's not something that is going to have a huge amount of demand. Sure, 100 clips of it, fine, that's no problem at all. But obviously if that's the only thing that you're focusing on, you're going to really limit yourself. Now the flip side to that coin is of course that it is good to focus on niches, but don't just solely focus on them. So if you do find a really good niche, say the golf niche where, you know, golf golf content where people are putting balls or, you know, going long, etc. That's probably not the right terminology for that. I'm sorry if I've got that all wrong, but you know what I'm talking about. People playing golf, really popular, really um, attractive niche for people to shoot in. 
Um, and that is a really good one to focus on. So by all means, go and shoot a thousand clips of that and you're probably gonna do really well with those thousand clips, but don't just stick to those clips. So, and again, guys, going back to what I said before here, the metric where you're actually getting data from your portfolio, don't really take any of that into account until you're at at least a thousand clips. And really, I would actually recommend going even higher than that, say 2,000, 3,000, maybe even 5,000. You know, I know guys who, um, really are very focused in aerial niches, drone footage, etc. I do a lot of that myself, but it's not my only um, thing. But you know, some people only focus on drone content. And you know, I know one guy who's making a hell of a lot of money doing that, and it's really good for him. Uh, but everybody you know, has their own way of shooting. For you to sort of put up 100 clips or you know, 150 clips and just sort of say, oh, okay, I've had one sale, it's not really working out for me. That's not the right attitude to take, guys. You need to build a big portfolio before you can start getting metrics. Um, but you know, if you sort of, a really good thing for you to do there is to actually take, once you've got to 1,000 clips or 2,000 clips, is take that entire portfolio and say, okay, it's generating me this much money a month, and then you can plan ahead. So, you know, if you're making, say, uh, $200, $300 and, you know, you've got a nice sizable portfolio, then it's realistic to say, okay, next month I'm probably going to be looking at at least $150. And, you know, you can then start planning and say, okay, well, if I double my library and double my library again, then, you know, it's realistic to expect as long as I keep my quality and my quantity and, you know, my variety at the same level that my portfolio is currently at, I can sort of expect the same thing to happen again. The goal being, if you like, then to obviously get to a point where you're earning, say, a thousand, two thousand, even three thousand dollars a month. And, you know, you look at people in the industry, the really big contributors, you look at people like Rob Crocker, for example, um, he's making tens of thousands of dollars a month from stock footage. And, you know, but he's been obviously at this for years. He's got a really wide variety of content. He's done a lot of stuff with models. But there's nothing to stop you guys doing that as well. And this sort of just rounds me up here to another point that I want to talk about, and that's obviously getting your content on as many good agencies as possible. And one of the things that I like to do when it comes to making a return on my money is obviously using Blackbox, which for those of you who don't know is basically a stock footage aggregator. I'm going to leave a link in this video here um, in the description of this video to a video where I cover basically how that works with black box, but highly recommend for anybody coming into this, that you check them out because it does really, really help when it comes to getting your stock footage out to all of the agencies. Really guys, what you need to focus on is building a large portfolio with a lot of quantity content and a lot of variety to it. So I don't want to see like a thousand shots of spoons. I don't want to see a portfolio where, you know, you might have 2000 shots of scrolls because by all means, if the squirrel's cute and everything like that, it has a chance to sell, but the market is so saturated for that content. You know, I mean, if you've, going back to my previous video, if you've got a squirrel in a little costume, maybe, where he's doing a trick or something like that, then yeah, okay, that's probably gonna sell. That's probably a good shot, um, and that will, will sell. Okay, I'll give you that. But again, guys, if it's just a squirrel in a tree, it's not gonna sell. Let's just be realistic about it. You need to build variety, you need to build you know, a large portfolio where the quality is good, the variety is good, and you can actually really start to get some accurate metrics from that. So just to wrap this video up now, guys, again, keep shooting, keep uploading content. Don't get discouraged if you get sort of the two, 300 clip mark and you haven't made a sale. I know I've said this before, guys, but it is definitely a marathon and not a sprint. You've got to keep going with this and don't get discouraged. I really hope you found this video useful and encouraging when it comes to build your portfolio. Feel free to come and check out Blackbox and have a look at my other videos. I'm sure they're gonna be really helpful for you if you're just starting out in this industry. Come and say hello on the Facebook group. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video. I'm